Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Anser and I regularly post videos about Microsoft Office tips, primarily about Microsoft Excel. So this is going to be a quick demonstration on how to create an automated attendance sheet on Microsoft Excel. And I'll be showing you three tips to make this automated. And those tips can be applied to various other Excel sheets. It doesn't have to be an attendance sheet. So let's get started. The first thing I've done is that I've developed a formula which notifies me whenever a student is absent three or more times in a row. So let's go ahead and let's go on to this student over here. As you can see, they've been absent for 7th of May and for 8th of May. So for example, let's say it's 9th of May and they're absent once again. So I'll go ahead and I'll be taking attendance and write down absent and click enter. And as you can see in the same row in column B, I receive a notification which has a different font and it tells me that the parent or the guardian needs to be contacted. So what I've done here is basically I've created this formula which notifies me whenever an occurrence occurs in Excel n or more times. So this can be applied to various other Excel files depending on what you're trying to do. Um, but the underlying formula behind this is right over here. Now, instead of explaining the entire formula, what I'll do is I'll link it down below. And these highlighted parts are the parts that need to be modified based on your own Excel file. I'll attach some explanation down below so that you can go ahead and take this formula and paste it on to your own Excel file. The second thing I'd like to show you is that this formula, whenever executed, gives me this notification. And as you can see, this notification has been formatted to have a red background. So I've done this using conditional formatting. So let me go ahead and show you how I did that. So the first thing I did was I highlighted column B because that's where I want that conditional formatting to be executed. Then I went into conditional formatting and into highlight cell rules and I selected equal to. So whenever a cell is equal to whatever I put in this box, that cell will be formatted with a light red fill and dark red text. And again, I can play around depending on what format I want, but in my case, this is fine. Um, the cells that I want to have a format like this should have the following text. So whenever a cell says contact parent or guardian within my selected range, that cell will be formatted like so. Now, two things to note here is that, first of all, I've attached apostrophes around my text. This is because if I don't, then Excel won't recognize it. And the second thing is that the text, along with the caps, the spelling, everything is the exact same as that in the formula. So I'll click OK. And this formula has now been executed. So for example, if I go into another student, and they're also absent for the third time in a row. So this time I'm just going to click A, press Enter. As you can see, once again, I received that formula notification and it's highlighted in red, so I can easily spot it out. Now, the third thing I want to show you is that I've made this search box over here, which allows me to search for a student and return their corresponding information. Now, this information is retrieved from the master list, which I have over here. And this master list contains the student name along with their other information. As you can see in the master list over here, the student name is written first comma last name. However, over here, I don't have to search the entire first comma last name. I can search simply the first name and I'll return the entire information of that student. So let's go ahead as an example and let's write down a student name. As you can see, it returns the entire information. Now, how I made this was using a VLOOKUP formula. And the logic of this formula is that if this search box cell is empty, then all of these cells will also be empty. However, if I type something in here, then this VLOOKUP formula will be executed and it'll look for that information within my master list table over here. Now, I've made an entire video on how to use VLOOKUP, which I'll attach down below. But one thing to note about this is that I have written only the first name, yet all the information was still retrieved. So the way I did this was in the VLOOKUP formula, right after the lookup value, I've written the AND function followed by an asterisk in apostrophes. 
This allows me to just write the first name of the student and still generate all their information. Now, a couple things to note about this is that you can also create a searchable drop-down list in which you can search a student name and options will filter for you based on your search. The list would also update as more names are added to the table. And by the way, this would all be done without VBA. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to show you how to do that. And maybe we could create a video on that as well in the future. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.